I just picked up a Chromebook that might have premium features. <laughs> What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's an HP Chromebook, and it wasn't that expensive. It was affordable. So that's the most important thing, because Chromebooks to me are like glorified tablets. They're like a tablet operating system on a computer. So it surprises me how expensive they can be. Now, this is a true unboxing. I just sliced the sucker open because it just got delivered. This one's brand new. And what I wanted here was an affordable Chromebook so that I could actually do some work on it. But I wanted it to be decent sized so that I wasn't having to squint and try to see the details. And I also wanted a backlight keyboard. So I think all of that stuff is in the spec sheet here. And so hopefully it has it because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. First of all, we get kind of an old school power cable. You can see the three prong cable right there. And then we have a charging brick right here. This is actually a USB-C type cable so i think it'll be kind of like thunderbolt so if you do have usb-c cables that you take with you to charge your macbooks and other accessories then you might not even need this power cable you might be able to charge it off of that so we will test that out also what we get here is a 14 inch chromebook with an intel celeron processor now that's not a super speedy processor but in chromebooks it tends to be just enough now this one is in ceramic white and it's pretty nice looking it's got this matte finish like a bright white hp logo and chrome chromebook up there you can see here it's pretty thin it's pretty light but it's got nice heft this top panel right here even though it's plastic kind of looks more premium i'm not sure if this is going to scuff up because it does have a little bit of shine to it but that actually makes it look premium this plastic down here is a little bit more low rent you can kind of hear it and see it it's kind of a light gray that has a little matte texture on it not as important for this to look premium but it kind of feels here like it's flexing just a little bit underneath so when you grab it it's, you're certainly not confusing this with a macbook now we do have what appears to be like a silicone strip right there and there so it should be pretty grippy and i am just impressed with how light and yet how big this is you can see it's pretty wide right there and on this side here we have a headphone jack we have that usb-c port for power and then an sd card slot and then if i flip it all the way over here we have another usb-c port and then a usb-a port right there so you can still use a regular thumb drive with it and we have not quite edge to edge but it's very close. And what kills me on some of these Chromebooks is how small the screen is when they don't shrink the body of the computer itself. So it's one of those things where some of these will have like a big inch bezel on it. It'll be an 11 inch Chromebook. And I'm like, well then why don't you just shrink the body too so that it's nice and compact as opposed to having a small screen. So what I like about this is this is a 14 inch Chromebook. So it's actually pretty big, bigger than a lot of laptops and webcam right up there. And yet we aren't losing a lot of that screen real estate to a big bezel. And you can see it's kind of just inset. It's just a millimeter lower than this bezel. And it's kind of a dark gray bezel and a Mac like hinge right there kind of folds away. In fact, what ends up happening here is that that lid kind of actually look like they go lower than the body of the computer so it looks like the lid itself props up the back here and you can see we have these two little tabs right here kind of two little fangs to protect this edge from getting scuffed up so that's kind of interesting then we have a silver panel surrounding the keyboard you can see the perforations on the side here for the speakers so that's kind of nice those speakers should be directed right up to you we'll see what the audio quality is there and also Looks like Bang & Olufsen did the audio on there. That's kind of cool. And then island style white keys right there. It's a pretty clean look and a pretty nice size trackpad right there. And actually it's pretty smooth. Sometimes the plastic here is a little funny and sometimes I get little protectors to put on there to give it a little bit more smoothness. Enjoy the smoothness uh, because sometimes the plastic can be really grippy. So I like the fact that it's nice and smooth there. Now this one is pretty downstream in terms of specs, but usually it's just good enough. Celeron processor, four gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of onboard eMMC storage. And so it's pretty standard. I don't save a lot of things to Chromebook. Like I said, it's about responding to emails, working with Google Docs online, those types of things. So what I wanna do here is get this charged up, use it a while and see what we think. Now, one of the first things that I wanna point out here is that I wanted to test this without using the included power cable and just run a USB-C cable to this 
from a charging strip right there and it absolutely does work so it will charge right through there depending on how much power it sends it may not charge it as fast as the included charging brick but in a pinch super super nice now on to the rest of the computer all right i've been using this chromebook for a while i have it set up here and a few things that i noticed and some of the great things about this right off the bat is that it seems to handle high res video quite nicely so i have youtube pulled up here i have it set up on 4k right style pizza and you can see here seems to play just fine What's and if i go full screen here in my kitchen because it's a lunch time seems to run that I just fine too even I'm though boy, what's a little weird is that it started at 360p here so maybe it's doing that to conserve battery or because my internet speed isn't super great here um, but it does support the higher resolutions no problem and like i said I don't see any of that stuttering, which kind of I sometimes expect on kind of low rent machines. Now I will get in in here. And what I want to show you is that there's nothing about this screen that is a retina screen. You know, you can see the pixels as I get in on the picture here. And this is the highest res possible. I will say that the colors look pretty good. This is not in the night mode. So they do have the night light and everything looks totally brown and yellow that way. So this is what you can expect when you are using this. <laughs> of course, we're watching a video of me watching a video filming with my camera, a computer screen. So I'm just going to move it ahead here a little bit. And so if you're looking for something with kind of a really tight, high resolution, then this is probably not going to be the screen for you. But if that's not something that's absolutely necessary for me, it's not you writing emails, writing documents, doing a little work, those types of things, then I think this is going to work great. Color representation is very good. Now, I will say here that probably one of the best things about this is that the audio is now awesome. When I feel like lounging in the sun, I'll look right at home. I'll be celebrating all things Midwest here in style. Hey, if you want to pick These up speakers this, this, are great. This. I mean, first of all, they are blasting right in my face as opposed to radiating around or kind of being projected against the table, trying to bounce back at me. They are quite loud. Obviously, I can control it like I can with every other Chromebook right up here, but I will say that the Bang & Olufsen speakers in these are pretty good. And that's actually where this thing overperforms to my expectation. I thought having the speakers right here in the front would be a smart move to give me as much clarity and as much volume and bass as possible. But man, they are, they are pretty loud and they are pretty awesome. The trackpad here is also really nice and it seems to work just fine. It's nice and slippery and it's nice and large, even my big mitts right here. But my favorite thing here is this keyboard. Again, the keyboard itself probably is no better or worse than any other keyboard I've ever used. Travel is fine. The keys are a little bit shiny. They don't have quite that super matte texture that the plastic around them has, but that's all just fine too. But I love the backlit keyboard here. It's actually really nice because not only do you get the backlight, which then kind of peeks through these transparent letters so you can see the letters, but you also get a little glow around the keys themselves. So when you are working in complete darkness, you've got the lights out, you're in front of your TV watching a movie, you're maybe in a dark room, sitting on an airplane, whatever, the keyboard here is super, super useful. You have seen some of my other videos where I've gotten those little LED USB lights to light up the keyboards on Chromebooks. What I love about this is that I have a fairly big screen here, 14 inches, which feels just like any other regular full-size laptop. I've got a beautiful large keyboard here, and I also have the backlight key, so I don't have to futz with any other ambient lighting, which is really, really awesome. Hey, I really love this Chromebook here, $290. So it's not the cheapest Chromebook ever, but if you get something in the 200s, I think you can't really expect the world. And yet this one delivers a good screen with a very large footprint, great speakers, and an awesome keyboard. So if you want to pick up this HP, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.
If you wanna know about a brand, ask me I'll check if what's in the bag's nasty Better if you know what's up than the unhappy I know what it feels like when you're done cashing They try their meal or drive their vehicle Garbage delivered at your PO I know you feel yo You wanna scream your head hurts on your pillow Discover more Yeah, yeah, yeah Explore deeper Yeah, yeah, yeah Live better